<clears throat> All right. Uh, hold on one second. This is a live stream, so I'm not obviously not recording this to make it perfect. Uh, for uh, for people who are trying to look. But anyways, installing different Unity to a different location. Non I actually spent quite a bit of time trying to get this set up. Um, I'm trying to do some Unity development for the first time. Really, I went ahead and went to Unity and purchased the uh, Plus version of Unity. Installed it. Let's take a look what happens, um, just so you guys know. I mean, you guys probably already know, but if you open up the, if you download, first of all, if you go to the Unity store and you try to, to if you go to the Unity website and you try to download Unity, it really doesn't let you download Unity as a standalone installer. Um, you'll go in here and you'll say get started. Um, I have the Plus version, which I kind of recommend you guys buy this because actually the premium learning resource on the Plus version is actually pretty, pretty nice. Um, if you go here to the premium here and you go in and say, let's, let's say, uh, uh, I already have it, so here, sign in here. You can see that, and this isn't really part of this video, but this is. But I just say, if you guys are looking at this and you really want to think about playing Unity, you know, using Unity, you can go in here and there's all kinds of projects, there's all kinds of courses, there's just tons of content in here that they give you, tutorials, they even have some some live uh, classes or some live get-togethers where, you know, you'll have to sign, you'll have to register for these, which I'm going to be registering for some of these probably. Um, so I would highly recommend you that you maybe look into that because it could be really good. But you go to you go to Unity, you say, okay, well maybe you just want to be an indie developer, or you're just learning Unity, and you want to go to the personal version. You say get started. Um, where is the download? You have to get to the actual part where it says download. So at some point here, you're going to say, well, I need to download. So download the latest version, and it's going to get you this screen. It says I already have Unity Hub, which you won't. So you says I do not have Unity Hub. There's really no way on the website to download. There used to be, I think, like a standalone installer for Unity. You have to download the Unity Hub. They kind of force you to do this now. I couldn't find a way to do it separately. If you guys can find one, you know, kudos. So you download the Unity Hub, you install the Unity Hub, and what you're looking at is the Unity Hub is here. So open Unity Hub. Now, when you install the Unity Hub, it actually lets you pick where you want to install the Unity Hub. So make sure that you pick whatever drive you want. I have a, uh, just so you guys know really quickly, um, my C drive is very small. Um, it's, it's you know, it's an, S, it's an S, uh, SD drive, and it's, it's only like, you know, it's tiny. It's 111 gig. So I really don't want to, I'm already, I only have 68 gig left. So this is really just for my my OS. That's it. There shouldn't be anything else here. But as you guys know, when you install software, unfortunately, it just throws a bunch of junk there, especially in the program, in the app data. You know, you go into the C users. I know I'm rambling, but this is just the way I do videos. If you don't like it, you can leave. And if you go to the app data folder, you're going to have, you know, rambling. You're going to have a lot of stuff where just software settings and such. We're going to need this path anyway. So go ahead and install to the drive location you want for the Unity Hub. But then what you want to do is you want to go in here and you want to say the Unity Editors folder. Before you install actual Unity, make sure you change the Unity Editors folder here. I tried setting up a different like hard link path from the C drive and it didn't work. I went through that whole other video that someone put out there to set up like a symbolic link or it, well, he was doing a hard link. And I tried that at that path and it did not work. But when I went in here and just said ePrograms, it worked. Now when I tried to point it to where my, my Unity install actually is, it wouldn't let me. Like when I tried to say programs uh, and I tried to create a folder just called Unity and then another folder that called Editor and tried to say pick this path, you know, the Unity programs, you know, Unity Editor folder, it wouldn't, it, would let me, it wouldn't let me pick it or it would let me pick it but then it wouldn't let me hit the save button. So it only seemed to recognize folders that were already there on my hard drive or something. I don't know why. But programs was good enough. So I said E programs and I, I saved that. I make sure you hit the save button. Then I think I closed it just to make sure that it, to see if it actually saved. You know, I opened it back up. I went back to the settings again because I wanted to verify that it still said ePrograms, which it did. At that point in time, you can just go to installs and you can say add. You can grab the latest. I have you see I have the latest ones here are grayed out because I've already installed it. You can pick that, you can install it. And for me, that worked. It then installed it under the ePrograms folder location, which is another SSD I have, which is about a terabyte, I believe. Okay, this is a terabyte drive, which is super, super fast. You can see this is a 97 Evo drive, very quick. And I really wanted you to be on my fastest drive because we need all the speed we can get when we're accessing resources and stuff. So if you go to, to the E drive, you go to programs, and you can see it just installed it under 2019, which is fine. I would have preferred to have programs and then a folder called Unity at least, and then under their head, but that's fine. I know what it is. It's under the programs folder. It's this version of Unity. And if it installs another version of Unity, it would install it here, and it would just be another folder, and it would be called like, you know, It'd be like 2018.4.15 F1 would be the folder. Okay, so that that worked for that, and that solved one problem. Then the next problem I have is if you guys and you guys know this one as well is if you go online and you try to actually download like an asset, like here's this one, um, or any kind of asset from the store. Maybe you download it. Like here, I downloaded this asset. What happens is it'll download it to like your to your hard drive, and by default, once again, and you don't have an option of picking where this goes. This is just 
default this is buried somewhere in the settings preferences and you maybe there's a way to change it but i didn't know really how to change it so if you look at the c drive where those those files were going was and i think i have this open already but we'll go there again they were under the you know the users and i hate that when i bought this computer they actually called it julia instead of my name which is julian it annoys the fuck out of me but it goes it goes to julia i'm actually julian Julia, this is like this is a cyberpower. Cyberpower built this PC for me. It's actually a pretty sweet PC. Um, app data folder, and then it goes into roaming, and then it goes into Unity right here. Um, but as you can see, I've actually bypassed this by creating a symbolic link here that actually points to guess where? E program data Unity assets. This goes to my E drive. So if you were to actually look at this folder, this Unity folder here, where it's actually you know. And just do the file size on here, do properties. There's only, a, you know, there's 100, ooh, there's 160 meg in there. That's kind of surprising. Yeah, I get the, I was going to say I got the wrong folder. There's only 11 meg there. Um, and so how you do that is you basically open up a command prompt. Make sure you type in command, uh, or I'm sorry, type in command. <laughs> then right click up here and make sure you run it as administrator. Okay. Once you've got it open as administrator, you're going to want to go in and create a symbolic link. So from here, you can just type in D M K link forward slash D, which is going to create a symbolic link. And then you just see the path to where it currently is pointing. So here it's, you know, basically this would be the path. So you would put this. And then you just want to point it to the new location, which for me was E programs. Uh, what's it? Yeah, programs. And then where is it going on mine? It's going to E. It's going to programs, Unity Hub. Oops, sorry, sorry. Oh, sorry, I should have checked. It's actually going to program data. I set it up to program data. So it's going to program data, Unity Asset Store. This is where I set mine up. And program data makes sense. It's, it's data for the for my program for Unity. So and here's the, the the thing that I downloaded, the Tails Factory. So you can go into here then and just fill that out. You can just copy and paste it. Oops. You can just copy and paste it. Damn it, I don't have to type it out again. Uh, let's do this really quick. I hate doing these types of videos, guys. I don't do a lot of videos that show people how to, to do little fixes, um, unfortunately. You can see me stumbling and bumbling my way around. But anyway, we're going to go back to C users. And we're just, we're just going to copy that path real quick so you guys can see it. And roaming. And uh, Unity asset store copy okay slash d for the symbolic link this guy space and then for you you guys would go back to where you want your actual assets to be downloaded to for me i set it up as program unity asset store okay now these folders can't exist when you when you run this command uh, i don't know why it'll give you an error if they already exist so create these after the fact like i don't think you don't want to have this this folder there when you run this command same thing here it was actually giving me an error saying you can't run this when this folder path exists so i actually just changed the uh, asset store here to underscore asset then ran the command and it ran okay then i went back and i got rid of that underscore but at that point it creates that symbolic link and i was able to actually just delete um the underscore one just because i didn't have anything in it anyway and just delete it and then it creates the symbolic link which shows up on your drive as just that almost like what looks like a shortcut good app data roaming and unity and it shows up here as like a shortcut so before i had this shortcut here or symbolic link there was an actual folder that was the users you know julia app data roaming unity asset store 5.x folder um i actually just deleted that and said i don't need it anymore um that's what i did and it worked for me i uh, because this is really what it's going to be looking at. I mean, I didn't delete, you know, the Unity folder. I just got rid of the Asset Store 5x folder that was already here. I just deleted that folder. It was an empty folder. There was nothing in it. And just left this link. And that worked for me. Now, there are some videos on YouTube you can go. And actually, I'll just link. The one that I found that actually the guy went through that kind of talked about this was... I'll just... You know, it was basically changing uh, Unity Asset store download location the video that i watched was this guy's video and actually he he's kind of a you know he's some sort of indian or i don't know some other nationality but he actually in this video here you know he actually goes through it and if you have trouble with my video you can go ahead and grab this guy's video and walk through it but the but 
it worked for me. And also, like I said, it took me a while, you know, because you really want when you're developing in Unity, you really want um, your, your location set up correctly. I mean, for me, I really want to be running off my E drive because that's my fastest SSD. My C drive is also an SSD, but my E drive is my fastest one. So I've got Unity. I've got Unity now running out off the programs folder here. I've got my, my assets that I download from the Astra store being saved to the program data Unity assets folder. And then, of course, my Unity Hub itself is also sitting here. Here's Unity Hub. So that's how I set it up. I hope this helps somebody because this is kind of a pain in the butt to get this stuff set up correctly. Anyways, uh, this is my channel, The World of Vassar, which is the channel I'll be putting up content from a video game that I'm working on. Who knows when that content's going to go up because I'm still really going through the process of learning um, Unity, learning Blender. Um, I'm a software developer. I've been co writing code since I was 15, which is 1985, by the way. <laughs> so I'm pretty old. Um, but anyways, I hope this helped somebody out, and I will... Uh, Check you guys later. Peace out.